Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and today we are comparing numbers. So in the course of this lesson, we are going to talk about place values. Just a quick overview of place values. We'll talk about the less than, greater than, and equal to symbols, and then we are going to compare some numbers. Let's get started. Place values. If a number is farther to the left, it is larger than a number farther to the right. Then we have to compare numbers. If they're in the same place from left to right, then you look for a bigger number. The larger numbers are larger. And that just sounds oddly simple. So let's go ahead and take a look at place values. Here's an example. 500 and 200. 5 is in the hundreds column, so there's 5 groups of 100. 2 is also in the hundreds column, so there's 2 groups of 100. There's five groups of 100, two groups of 100. We would say 500 is greater than 200. That's how we would, we would analyze or compare these two numbers. 500 is greater than 200. Now, if there is a place value like 300 and 1,000, we would look which number is farther to the left. So I'm going to just do a quick circle here. The number in the 100s column is 0 over here, but there is a 1 in the 1000s column, so that is farther to the left. This one here has no number in the 1000s place. So the 1000s are bigger than 100s. So although this one has three groups of 100, there is only one group of 1000s, even though the number 1 is smaller than the number 3 we would say 300 is less than 1,000. There's three groups of 100 versus one group of 1,000, but it's a bigger amount. All right, now I spent a lot of time talking about this because there, we're going to compare the same thing with decimals. So here is my decimal list here. The one on the left is one-tenth, or if we look at it in terms of money, it would be 10 cents, right? Whereas this one is 1 one hundredth, so that's just 1 cent. If we think in terms of money, it's a little bit easier for us to say that 1 tenth is greater than 1 hundredth. But think about it in terms of the numbers farther to the left are, are larger. So this one is here, this one is farther to the left. It's in the tenths column. That means that this is larger than this one. Okay? And that's a difficult concept with decimals, but it works the same exact way as it would with a hundred versus one thousand. That's why I spent so much time with the previous one. Most of you know one thousand is greater than three hundred, but I wanted you to see this as a place value that it's the same exact example as with the previous question. If the number's to the left, that means it is larger. It is, it is a larger place value. Okay. Now let's talk about these symbols. This is the less than symbol. It means whatever's on the left is less than whatever's on the right. This is the greater than symbol. It means whatever's on the left is greater than whatever's on the right. And this is the equal to symbol. It means whatever's on the left is equal to whatever's on the right. And this, some people think of as an open mouth. Okay, um, that's just a little bit of a hint there. Some people like to draw fish or um, a Pac-Man type thing, and they look at that less than and greater than symbols as kind of eating the larger number, whichever direction it goes. So let's go ahead and take a look at these symbols. Here's an example. 5 is less than 9. That's how I'd read it. 4 equals 4. 8 is greater than 1. 10 is less than 12. 0.5 is greater than 0. Point, point 0.05, and 15 is equal to 15. So those are some examples of using these symbols. Um, depending on what number's on the left and what number's on the right, we would use the, the less than or greater than symbol. And notice that if we think about it in terms of like a mouth, it's always opening towards eating the larger number. So let's work on comparing some numbers. There's a number on the right, there's a number on the left, and you get to decide whether you're going to use the less than, greater than, or equal to symbol. Let's do it. We have the number 1450.2 and 
and the number 1,451.9. You can pause as we're going through this. I'm not going to pause every time, but you can pause the recording and see if you can select the answer and say why. This one is the less than symbol, and the reason is this number 1 is greater than 0. Everything else is um, pretty much the same, but you look at the number that's farthest to the left that's different, and it's 1 is greater than 0. Notice the decimals don't even come into play in this one. All right, 6,000.3 and 6,000.5. The number that we're looking at is the the tenth column, the number one place on the left of the decimal, on the right of the decimal, and in this case, 5 is greater than 3. So we'd say 0.3 is less than 0.5. 20,000.7 and 9... 19,999.99. Um, this one here is 20,000 is greater than 19,000. The number we're looking at is in the 10,000 column. This one's a 2, this one's a 1, so this number is greater than. Let's look at this one 15,001.2. This one's 15,001.2, and they are equal to each other. So we would use the equal symbol in that one. Quick recap on today's lesson. We first look at the numbers to the left. The farther left it goes, the larger the number. Then we use the less than, greater than, or equal to symbols to compare the numbers. Larger numbers get eaten by those symbols. I hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.